Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about the most basic pattern in mathematics. Uh, just kidding. Uh, we are continuing with the most basic pattern everywhere. I am talking about evenness. On a previous video, uh, we talked about the way that even numbers and odd numbers add together. In this case, we are going to talk about how even and odd numbers multiply each other. Uh, you may remember, but if not, uh, feel free to uh, complete the next table with me. So in this case, we have that even number times even number uh, gives a product of an even number. Uh, even number times odd number is a product of an even number. An odd number times an even number gives a product of an even number. And an odd number times an odd number gives a product of an odd number. Uh, this pattern is different from the one of addition. In this case, uh, we do not have the same number of even numbers and odd numbers in the other side of the equality. In this case, uh, we see that even numbers uh, dominate the totals, and there is only one case where the total can be odd. Uh, this is uh, pretty much the essence of this other part of the pattern of evenness, which uh, I agree it is pretty different from the one of addition. Uh, however, this pattern also happens a couple of times in mathematics and in nature and in many other different places. Uh, keep in mind that the second and the third line, again, uh, mean the same due to the commutative property, which is also true for multiplication. And again, for the four cases, there is going to be a proof from the second half to the end of the BD. So the other place where we can find uh, this pattern uh, can be, for example, with the property of conjunction. Uh, in this case, uh, if we have the AND phrase. So this is an example of logic. There are other examples, but at least this is the first one with which I come up. So in this case, we can have that false and false uh, is false. Uh, uh, false and true is false. Uh, true and false is again false, and only when we have true and true, it is true. Uh, this is again an example of where we can find this pattern. Uh, there is an analogous with the uh, property of disjunction, uh, and it also can happen in other different types of problems, uh, exercises, and other types of uh, problems and games where this can be used are going to be presented on the uh, following videos. Uh, just for completion, I'm also going to give you the tables. Uh, so we have the table for the product of even and odd numbers, which is the great table. We have the table for a uh, conjunction, uh, which is the blue table. And um, there are going to be in other as I said, in other videos, there are going to be exercises that can be solved with this property. And also, there are going to be videos about logic coming soon. So uh, keep in touch if you are interested in those types of things. But OK, uh, let's go into the proof. Again, the proof are pretty simple. Uh, if you uh, got the solution, have a proof, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. It is straightforward. I'm just leaving them here in case uh, anyone wants to come back and get the information, even though they are further in the video, they just want to come back. Or in the case that uh, they want to see a certain approach to these types of exercises. So the first case, we have an even number times an even number, and uh, the total of the product needs to be an even number. So let A be an even number and B be an even number. So A equals 2 times M and B equals 2 times N. Uh, again, details M and N are numbers that exist, uh, whether they are integers or number, natural numbers. Uh, at least if there are any of those three cases, it doesn't matter. That's just uh, the place where we are talking about. Uh, but I do not want to make more make things more complex than they need to be because this is a simple exercise and we do not need to go that into details of uh, what numbers we are talking about. Um, 
So now we are going to multiply a and b, and that gives us a 2m a times 2n. And we use the associative property of multiplication. So we have 2 times a m times 2n. This is already the double of our quantity, and then in this case being m times 2n, so we are done. Uh, it is not going to be that hard for most of the exercises in here, but I mean, it, as I said, it was straightforward. Um, for case two, we have uh, A is going to be an even number and B is going to be an odd number. So uh, let A equal 2 times M and B equal to M plus 1. Again, M and N are numbers that exist. Uh, we do the multiplication of A and B, that's going to be 2M times 2M plus 1. And again, we use the associative property of multiplication. Uh, we set the two in the outermost product, and we have that the product of A and B is the double of a quantity, that's an even number, so we are done. And uh, we go for case number three. Uh, in this case, we have an odd number times an even number. So we let A equals an odd number and B be an even number. So A equals to N plus one and B equals to N. And again, M and N are numbers that exist. Uh, so A times B equals to N plus one times two N. In this case, we are going to use the commutative property of the product that's going to be important. Uh, we are going to sub two and two N plus one. And again, we are going to use the associative property on the last step. Needless to say, again, we have two times a quantity. That's the double of a quantity. And so uh, we have again that the total of the product is an even number. And we are done. Uh, again, there is an alternative. Uh, needless to say that again, the second uh, statement is the same as the third one because of the commutative property. But we can also say, okay, let A be an odd number and B an even number. And we swap them. Now B is the first one, A is the second, B is the even one, A is the odd one. We have A times B equals B times A in our standard form of the commutative property, which is symbolic. And by case two, and we have that B times A needs to be an even number because B is even and A is odd. So the product needs to be even. And this would make it for the case number three in an alternative way. And we go for case number four. Uh, in this case, we have an odd number times an odd number. So let A be an odd number and B be an odd number. So A equals 2N plus 1 and B equals 2N plus 1. Again, M and N are numbers that exist. So let A times B equal what it must be. Uh, it should be 2M plus 1 times 2M plus 1. Uh, it is important to be careful with the parentheses. Uh, here, there is no trouble with that. So this time, we need to distribute all of the elements. That's going to be important. Uh, so doing all the cross products, we are going to end with 2m times 2n, uh, plus 2m, plus 2m, plus 1. I know it is pretty long, and maybe uh, this type of sophistication would not be expected, but I mean, it's what needs to be done. Um, it, and just straightforward, we can factor a 2. Uh, Factoring that 2, we can have 2 times the quantity n times 2n plus n plus n. And this is already the double of a quantity plus 1. So this total of the product is all. And we are done. That would make it for the four statements already. So pretty much this is the end of the video. Uh, let me know if you like it. Uh, also, uh, you can leave me questions or comments, or if you want me to uh, treat another topic in which you are interested, and uh, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.